Hello, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking, or not really cooking, but rather blending from the Smoothies Cookbook again. This is part of our Smoothies Summer Series. And this week we're going to be making the Nectarine Mocktail, this one right here. And we're going to be using nectarines, frozen strawberries, and some club soda. Also, since I had a little issue with my nectarines where they started to go bad too quickly, I'm going to be, you see I have one nectarine that's still okay. This one, it started to go bad on the bottom. Sorry, that's kind of gross. So I'm only going to cut here and use the top half. That's still okay. And then to make up for it, I'm going to put in some of this pineapple from the last video that I have left over. All right, let's get started. So as you can see, the library finally has uh, real cutting boards and good knives, thanks to our friends of the library group. So I'm going to cut up this one. And now cut this one closer so you can see. Like this, and now just grab it and twist as usually works. All right, so now we just have one more piece with the seed stuck in it, and you can just grab the seed. And if this doesn't work, okay, it's gonna be too squishy to work. So we're just gonna cut the seed carefully out instead of twisting it out. So I've managed to cut most of the fruit off of the seed, and now I'm going to slice this up into a little bit smaller pieces so it will blend better. And I'm going to mix it straight in with this leftover pineapple, since I do want to use up all of this pineapple today so it doesn't go bad. And now for my sad one here, I'm going to just slice all the way around like the equator. And twist. Okay, so here's what's left and it looks to be okay. Maybe this part's a little bit brown so I'll cut that part just in case that's starting to go bad. The rest of it should be alright. So now just slice like this. Oop, there goes the stem. Okay, so I sliced it like this and now just twist it. Oops, it's going to be really juicy. Now there's just one piece with the seed still in, so just twist it out. It is a little bit brown in the middle around the seed, so I'm just going to cut that part that was closest to the seed. Probably fine, but you know, just in case, I don't want it to make the smoothie taste weird. Uh, okay, and then just cut that part out. This is what's left, so we're gonna slice that up. Alright, I'm just gonna toss this. Alright, that's it for cutting, so I'm gonna rinse off the knife. If it's just fruit or vegetable that I cut with it, I just rinse it with water. As long as it's not sticky or anything. There's no real need to use soap. You can see it's clean. So put this off to dry. The cutting board, same thing. You don't really need to use soap as long as all you if all you cut on it is fruits or vegetables, you don't really need to use soap. You know, unless it gets sticky or something. Now meat and dairy is another story. You should cut meat and dairy on well, you should cut it on a separate cutting board for sure. I don't even use a cutting board for meat and dairy. I cut those things on just a plate so that I can then wash the plate. Um, and also a plate is gonna be, it's not permeable. So wood stuff can seep into it. I just don't like the idea of meat juices or stuff getting into that. I'd rather do that on a plate and then put the plate in the washer 
And for the wooden cutting boards, I'd rather just stick to fruits and vegetables. That's just what I do. So we have our nectarines and our substitute pineapple. Now we're going to use, it's calling for 10 ounces of frozen strawberries that are partly thawed. Now these I just took out of the freezer about five minutes ago, so they're not partly thawed, but honestly I don't think you really need to do that. These are the sliced kind, so it's smaller bits, which is going to be easier on the blender. So since this is a 16 ounce bag, I'm just going to do about like two thirds of this bag or so. Now I'm going to mix, and you can see how pretty and colorful that is. Now for the club soda. If you don't know what club soda is, it's basically just carbonated water, but then it also has um, potassium bicarbonate and potassium citrate. So it's not just water, but it's mostly water. So it's sort of like soda, but with no sugar. This is calling for one bottle, one 28 ounce bottle. What we have here is a 33.8 ounce bottle. So we're just gonna use most of this bottle. So I'm gonna put in enough of this to fill it. Well, let's just fill all our smoothie glasses first, like we did last time and then just make sure we have it even. And to blend, we just screw the blades on like this. see I still have some little bits of nectarine skin maybe some little small pieces of strawberry that didn't get quite blended I think it's gonna be kind of good that way but if you want yours to be more uniform and like have no little bits you can just blend it longer so however long you blend it it's up to you the way you want the final product to be should never be submerged because um, if you get water like all down in here and soak it in water it could ruin it. I did just rinse water over it because 
because there was stuff all stuck here and there was even some stuck here. And we have to get that off. Uh, I tried to be quick and not get too much water. And now I'm going to dry it really well so hopefully it's alright. So let's put a little bit more strawberries in this one to make up for it. starting to come unscrewed. Never did that before. I'm going to be done with that one now because I don't want to risk that thing happening again. Okay, so as you can see here, they're there in the freezer and you get a little sneak peek on some of the ingredients that we're going to be using for future recipes. Some pineapple, coconut, frozen yogurt, and some serve these to the library staff. All right, and we're all ready to serve. I decided not to bother with the little rings this time. Just one extra thing to wash. Um, so, these look really delicious. I'm gonna try one. Mm. That's really good. All right, I hope you had fun in the kitchen today and let me know how it goes if you decide to try this for yourself. Or what's your favorite variation when you make a smoothie yourself. Have a great week and see you again in two weeks in the kitchen. Bye!